Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Um, lost my train of thought here. We got a good one for you today. I got an interesting fight. Zach Parker versus Jack Arnfeld. And this might have been a, an interesting fight several years ago. Uh, Arnfeld left the sport for a while. Not sure what he did. Uh, but he's been out of the sport with just one comeback fight. You know, if fight would have happened in 2018... Uh, perhaps this would have been interesting. Uh, but right now, it seems to me to be a little bit one side. But uh, before we get to that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, follow me on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you every single, uh, for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make me betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Uh, so join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the little ticker below. Just $5 a month gets you access to the Patreon, which gets you access to the best gambling advice in the sport. It gets you the lock of the week, which was just released yesterday. It gives you additional locks that I'm going to submit today. It's good some good locks today that we can bet on this Golden Boy card as well as the Japanese card early in the morning. Uh, so please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Um... Also, subscribe to the other town, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. Zach Parker is a, is a prospect that I like a lot. Uh, he came on this, this scene, I think he was about 22, yeah, 22 and 0 when he took the John Ryder loss. Obviously, uh, I, it was a fight I thought he was doing well in. He broke his hand apparently and then quit. I thought it was Jor, apparently, it was his hand. He quit the fight over a broken right hand. Uh, the winner got Canelo. I, I think he should have tried to give it hell. He didn't. He he quit right then. I wasn't a fan of that. Uh, but he's looked good since in, in, in his two comeback fights. He fought um, against Khalid Girade. I'm not exactly sure who that is. Uh, stopped him, and then he, he dominated uh, in, in an entertaining fight with Tyron Zwig uh, over 10. Fun, but largely one-sided rounds. Uh, now he's got Jack Arnfeld. Uh, Zach Park is a uh, six foot tall, good height, good range, excellent feet. He uses his reach. He can switch stances. He's a good boxer, pretty good athlete, uh, good at judging distance. He's six four. I'm not sure that he's a hitter. He's got a decent knockout ratio, I believe. Yeah, his knockout ratio is seven. Uh, he's got 17 knockouts in, in his 24 wins, which is pretty solid. I'm just not seeing a ton of power. I'm not saying he's feather fist. I, I, I just don't see him as a hitter. He does throw from a barrage of angles that I like. Uh, he doesn't stay in front of you. He keeps moving. He's hard to catch clean. He's hard to corner. I, I don't see Arnold having a ton of success with him. He's an excellent body puncher. He mixes his levels very, very well. He really targets the body. He targets the body really well. And, he, and he's, he, he'll hit you in the body and he'll, he'll move. He'll get out of the way. Uh, he hits you from the body from long range, which he can get away with at this level. But I'm interested to see when he gets back to the world level, which he will. I'm interested in seeing if if, if if that gets timed and countered. He's pretty fast, but he's not like incredibly fast. He's got decent, he's got good speed. He doesn't have terrific speed. Good jab, good jabber, snappy jab. Uh that's unquestionably his jab is, is his best punch for sure. Not a super high volume guy, and he needs to throw on more combinations. A lot of times it's one jab at a time, one right, uh, one right hand at a time, one one hook at a time. You know. I'd like to see a lot more combinations at him. I mean, he's a good athlete. He can make you miss. He uses the ring, circles the ring. He's best uh, in the center of the ring using his feet. Uh, pot shot, you pot shot, you then putting a, a little one, two together. And then he targets the body. He's a really good body punch. You know? and, and, and the guys who fight like this, you don't typically see them targeting the body, uh, but he does. Again, you know, he's an athlete, good movement, good jab, good skills, excellent feet. I'm going to say questionable power. I don't want to say he's got – he's, 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 you know, pillow-fisted or, or no nothing like that. But I'm going to question his power. He doesn't really commit to his shots. He doesn't really sit down on his shots. Um, and he, he kind of just throws them at times. But he is hard to hit, and, and he's going to be really, really difficult for Arnfield to win rounds against. So Arnfield's not going to be able to drop him. He's not going to be able to corner him. Uh, now, Parker usually has a reach advantage. He's going to be at a reach disadvantage in this fight. Jack Arnfeld is 6'2", 75-inch reach. So he's, he's difficult in that sense. He's only had one fight in six years, though. He's had a, a, a long – and that fight was against a, a total cab driver. Uh, that was – pull that up. 
Robbie Chapman, who's 11, 36, and 7. His last fight of note was the uh, Tommy Langford fight, which he, he lost a competitive and spirited decision. He's got a loss to Nick Blackwell, and he's got a loss to someone named Sella Renda back in 2015, which is almost nine years ago. I'm not going to harp too much on that. Like I said, it was almost a decade ago. <laughs> Um, but he's a slow plotting guy. He's long and rangy, but he's not a big puncher. He doesn't, again, he doesn't commit to his shots. He's not much lateral movement. He's mostly a jabber. He stays in front of you. He doesn't step on the gas. He's just looking to score from the outside, score from the outside. He puts his punches to get, he doesn't, you know, he puts his punches together. He throws nice straight punches from the outside, but there's not a whole lot on him. He's basic. He's, he's a jabber who puts a one, two together. He, he's very, very basic. He's a domestic level guy. Uh, not, I'm not insulting him. I'm not. He's a domestic level fighter. That's what he is. Nice jab. One, two. His length can cause some trouble for Parker, but Parker will ultimately figure that out. Doesn't sit down on shots. Doesn't commit to his shots. And stands, stands in front of you quite a bit. There's not a ton of movement, like I said. Um, I mean, he's just not at that level. He's not the level of, of, of Zach Parker. Um, and, and given his age, he's 35, and it's just one fight since 2017. I expect this to be fairly one-sided. I expect Parker may even get a stoppage, although I can't guarantee a stoppage. I think the stoppage is definitely on the table just because of the inactivity and, and, and the age. I, I don't think he's going to be sharp. I don't think he's going to be at his best. And even at his best, he's not at the level of Zach Parker. Jack Armfeld from 2016, whatever, 2017, whatever you want to say his best, is still is not close. Now, factor in the fact that he's – been inactive and he's past his prime and it's just not a great look so let's pull up the odds the odds it's not great i wanted to take a look at this we don't have any props because jeff king is absolutely killing me what we do have is just the money line and this is a terrific bet um to add to your parlay now look hang on one second where is it there it is trouble pulling that up it's a, a terrific fight to add to your parlay he's minus 1400 but it's as safe as a bet's gonna get um you know like i i would feel totally safe putting a two times bet on this whatever your normal bet is pet two times i i i don't think these odds are nearly wide enough a 200 dollars bet would make you 1428 you know obviously not a ton of money uh but it, it's safe as can be uh i would stay away from the stoppage you know i think he my, my hunch is he'll get a stoppage but we don't have any odds on it. So if you have a book that does i'd stay away from it unless it's paying you close to even odds which it's not uh i i would lean towards a stoppage but i'm not sure on that what i would do is, is throw this thing in, in my parlay it's going to bring down your odds it's easy money it's the closer to a lock is a guarantee as you could possibly have. Zach Parker's going to school him. He's going to dominate the fight. Armfield's going to look outmatched, outclassed. Like I said, probably gets a stop. It's late in the fight would be my guess. So take Armfield two times. Um, if you want to, want to bet the fight straight up, put, take your normal bet, times it by two, um, minus 1,400. But really, you just use it to bring down your odds. Use it to, to make your parlay odds a little better. It's going to do that for you. It's going to It's safe money. It's easy money. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Join the Patreon. Again, the link is in the description. It's also in the little ticker below. Get you all the access. It gets you the, uh, the access to the best boxing advice, the lock of the week. Ask the bookie anything. Get you update props. Like I said, if they do drop props on this, uh, go over to Patreon. We'll show you how to bet the over-under, the knockout. We'll show you how to bet all of that. So join the Patreon. Get the absolute best boxing gambling advice in the world from the number one Boxing Gambling Advisor at 3D Boxing. Uh, it is July 19th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.